Hey PT for Studio Live today where I help you create, record and release your best music and it's time for a garage band quick jab. Let's go. Okay, today we're going to be talking about icons. Now, icons are something that you may not have even noticed or at least not noticed that you can change. And those are the little icons that we have here next to each of our tracks. So to access our icons and change them, we tap on any one of these and we tap on icons. And now we can change these through a heap of different categories. And we've got literally hundreds of different icons that can help us arrange and represent what each track contains in a much clearer way. So for example, this bass is a classic stack at the moment, but if I want to change this amp to an actual bass guitar, I can tap, I can go to icons, and then I'm here under my bass category, I can come up and this one here looks like my bass guitar, so I'm going to tap on that one, and when I come back to my screen, my icon has now changed to that bass guitar icon instead of the amp. And if, like me, you record a lot of vocals or audio recorder tracks, all of your tracks end up looking very similar. So if we want to distinguish between these, let's change this backing vocal by tapping and going to icons. And now we can choose a different microphone sound for our backing vocal. Let's use these ones here. And then we can see that our lead vocal and our backing vocal can be distinguished and can look different and stand out in our tracks. And you would have noticed that we have different categories. So we have all of our drum icons here where we can have our single kit pieces as well as our entire kits. We have percussion, which we can use for our own recorded percussion or the built-in percussion here in GarageBand. We have bass, which has all of our bass guitars and upright bass and our bass amps. We have guitars, which has guitars as well as our guitar amps. Our keyboards have our pianos, our organs, our whirlies, as well as our synthesizer type keyboards. Strings have the same sort of thing. We've got all of our different stringed instruments that we can update here. Our wind has all of our brass. It has all of our woodwind instruments all ready to go and even our saxophones and our sound effects and other. And other is where you will find all of your vocals and microphones and other instruments. So there you go, as I mentioned, a very simple feature, but uh, as you can see, once you get, you know, 10, 20, 30 tracks here in GarageBand, it can get quite messy, and the ability to use icons to distinguish your tracks between each other is a really handy way to keep your projects organized and streamlined here in GarageBand on your iPhone or your iPad. And there you go, a GarageBand Quick Jam that is actually quick. If you'd like to watch two more GarageBand Quick Jams, we've got two links down below. You can also subscribe to the channel by clicking on the Studio Live Today icon in the top right or head to studiolivetoday.com for more audio goodness.